Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Starting off with the LASCOC2 filter, showing the solar flares, from the first through the third. As you can see, the sun has been very active lately, with multiple flares occurring. Now the flares are observed through the LASCOC2 and C3 filters as they expand out through space. Notice Saturn as it is making its orbit behind the Sun. Space Weather Live issued two warnings today, stating solar wind speed is currently moderately high, 547.6 km, sec. And the disturbance storm time index predicts moderate storm conditions right now. This is the K-index chart, the KP index ranges from 0 to 9, where a value of 0 means that there is very little geomagnetic activity, and a value of 9 means extreme geomagnetic storming. At the time of this video, it was at 5. This chart explains the number's meaning, whereas 5 indicates a G1 scale, moderate geomagnetic storm. Here is a model of the geospace magnetosphere pressure, on Earth's magnetosphere, as you can see the dark red indicates a strong pressure, while waves of solar wind can be observed. With this geoelectric field map model, which measures induction hazard to artificial conductors, such as electrical power lines, that results from geomagnetic activity, current is induced by integrating along the conducting pathway, the concentrations are peaking at yellow in some areas, which indicates close to 100 megavolts per kilometer. Seen on this model is the predicted forecast of the location and intensity of the aurora today, showing the northern, and southern hemispheres, red indicates the higher energy induced by the solar wind. On this chart, the locations of the planets can be seen facing south. Here they are enlarged, showing the planets' alignments. Here are the position of the planets today, in the solar system. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye, on the sun for you.